All right guys, so you know it's been a while since I've sprayed with my DV-1 and I wanted to break it back out and try it because I had one of you guys ask me what gun would I buy if there was only one gun to buy? And if I had to pick one gun for the base coat, I'd probably pick the DV-1. That's considering the 3M gun doesn't exist because you guys know I'm a really big fan of that gun, but sometimes shops don't want to buy the heads. So if you don't have the heads and you're not able to buy the heads, if I was going to pick one gun for the base coat, it would be the DV-1. We're going to try it out on a silver and that way you guys could see how nice it really is. And you know, I'm just doing a lot of colors day to day and I need multiple guns. So I'm not going to buy four or five DV-1s. So to me, the 3M gun, having four of those, I could buy about four of those to be equivalent to one of these. And I love the way the heads work because you could replace them and you got a new gun every time. So if you had one gun, will it be this one? Let's check it out and see. All right, guys, we're all loaded up. We got our base in it. This is 636, and this is the 1-4 head with the DV-1. And one of the great features I love about it also is no regulator. Because you guys know as well as I do, when you get down low like this and you're spraying something low, you got to bend that hose all up because you got no room to get it low because of that regulator extending it down even lower, especially on lower vehicles. This one here is kind of up higher, so you don't have that problem as much. But when you get down on a low car, you're actually turning that gun sideways like this to try to paint, especially in the clear coat. So the DV clear has got the same thing. So we're gonna get into uh, basing it out now. And you guys see here, I seal the edge of this. I like sealing the edge of my blends. That way it's the same exact way as that fender is over there for coverage reasons and also for the sand scratch. Cause when you sand, you know, put base down over something that's non sanded, it's gonna lay differently than on something that's sanded. So I was taught when I first started spraying water about 15 years ago now, I started out with the Enviro base. They wanted you to seal everything because they said that the color can actually change on whatever substrate it's gonna land on, whether it's sanded or not whether what grit it is too. So I do it, that's the way I do it. I went ahead and tacked this. Let's get into using this gun and seeing now how great it is because silver's definitely is a good test. All right, so we put two coats on. I went up with one, I pulled back a little, and I put another one on, right on, wet on, wet on these. So when I'm doing the silvers, I like to get as much on as I can, because it's a thicker you know, paint, the silvers, and I like getting it all on at one time. That way, there's less chance of having dry overspray and having any kind of model and streak. So that's the best way I've had with silver. Go ahead and put on a wet coat, back up, dust it, Get your coverage, that way now all we have to do is do an orientation coat because you don't want to put silver back, keep putting more and more silver on. To me, it, it makes more trouble. So get it on, get coverage, and then uh, do your control coat. So we got it on there now. It's spraying nice, and I'm using that gun at 13 PSI for my coverage coats. And it definitely puts it down nice and even. So. We're gonna let this one here flash off and then we're gonna get into putting the drop coat on it. Blending this out a little bit. You can see it looks like it's different, but I haven't worked the blend at all yet. So let's go ahead and work this blend in. You guys know this color has been verified and uh, it's gonna match. So I've checked it and we are good to go on the color, but you can see there it looks different right now because I haven't blended it out. So let's go ahead and uh, put our drop coats on it and then clear it but definitely do enjoy spraying with the DV-1. 
And if I was a rich guy, I'd buy six or seven of these things and be using them all the time. But I still do love not cleaning the guns out with that 3M head. So you're not gonna get me to go against that just cause I don't like cleaning guns and I'm not sure who does. So I like painting, but I don't like cleaning the guns out. So we're gonna head and drop it and then clear it. But definitely if you have one gun that you can afford and one gun you would need to use, Go ahead and pick yourself up the DB1 and who knows when that Iwata comes out, there's a chance that it might be really good too, that new one they come out with that LS for the base. So they're supposed to dial it in and get it better. But you know, I haven't sprayed some other guns out there, the Segolas I haven't sprayed and there's also the Walcoms that I haven't sprayed. So I'm hoping to spray those soon and give them my uh, true opinion on what I think of those guns. They may be really good too. So. Once I get my hands on them, we'll do a couple videos and we'll see what they're about. But right now I can vouch for the DV-1. Definitely would be my pick if I had one gun to choose. And uh, cause this gun here can also spray the clear really well. Some of you guys use it for clear also. And it also works for the candy. So if you wanna have a gun that atomizes and breaks it up really nice and you wanna spray a candy, this gun here will also do that. Cause it breaks up the, the paint really fine and gives it a beautiful atomization. So let's get it into dropping it. All right guys, so that's the DV-1 and it's been a minute since I've used it and it really is a phenomenal gun. So you guys know I love the DV-1 clear gun. This time I use my uh, clear coat gun, my uh, Tecna, cause I've been using that gun a lot lately and it's been working out nice too. So when I wanna fine tune one, I use the DV-1 clear and when I wanna just blast one out and let the clear do the work, I use that gun there. So it moves me through the job quicker. So. You can't beat that DV-1 base gun. If you guys are looking for a gun and you want to get one that's a reliable, good gun, it's not cheap, but it's definitely worth the money because you get a 1.2, a 1.3, and a 1.4 head for it. And uh, you got any setup you need. So this was the 1.4, but it laid a beautiful blend. It laid down the silver nice, and you guys see that. We didn't really work it out that hard, and it laid it down nice. So if you're in the market, and you want one all around gun that'll do it all and you can even clear with this gun if you had to dv1 would be my choice so you guys asked me what i would use if i had one gun and that's all i could have for base coat that way i could do everything with that gun three stages silvers candies and all i'd go ahead and get the dv1 so i hope you guys like this video and uh if you're interested in the dv1 there's plenty of places you can get it and just check it out online. So thanks for watching, hit subscribe and see you next time.